know it's kind of ticklish to talk about pro staffing and being pro staffer, depending on who you're talking with. Some folks get real sensitive about it. You know, I've been some sort of a pro staffer for the last eight plus years and, and, and on multiple companies, and, and, and I've, I've really scaled that back in the last couple of years. There's only with a few right now that I, I thoroughly enjoy and believe in and like the companies and the people, and that's what I, you know, to me that's what the reason you would become a staffer because you believe in the product, you believe in the people, you know, and, and, and want to help others. So, uh, but some of the lessons that I've learned through the years, you know, the, the, the greatest lesson I think that I learned about that type of, of, of position, you will, came multiple years ago. My boy, Ethan, y'all have seen him, but Ethan was going golfing, uh, was playing a golf tournament with a couple of his younger buddies, and, uh, and the adult that, that they had to have to play in this tournament backed out on them. The, the, he, I don't know what, what happened anyway. He backed out. So Ethan called me. I was out of town on, on work, and he said, uh, he said, Daddy, I can't play golf. He said, I, you know, we lost lost our adult and I I said well man I said I, I said I'll play with you he says well you don't have any clubs and you don't know how to play you know how young us get kind of snippy I said well one of them I could fix you know so man I saddled up right then I drove to the nearest sporting goods store and I walked in and I, I looked around I said I want I want that assortment of clubs you know in a box and I got some balls and I figured I said let me start here and and, and uh, I got some tees and everything that I knew about golfing you know and Man, I, I lit a shuck and I took off and run over to the, uh, the the golf place that was at the big hotel that I was at. And I walked out on that green, lost as a duck in a desert, and uh, figuring I you know start with drive and we'll figure out what we can do there because I've played putt putt through the years now. Now that that's a serious thing for me, but uh, I thought well all right I'll, I'll I'll try this. Well, just just maybe you know 30 yards away, just out of earshot, was three fellers that looked like they were. You know, dressed up like Tiger Woods, and they all the nines, and who knows? You know, their 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 clubs were probably one of their clubs cost more than three sets of mine. And, and man, I could hear the snickering, you know, and it's like, all right, I'm 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 listening. So I, I have no clue what to do. And here I, I literally, no lie, I I shanked one. The the dry, the range is that way. The putting green was this way. Behind me, I hit a dude's bag <laughs> that was over there with my first attempt at driving the ball. Like I said, I mean, I, I, I don't know this. The golfing wasn't my thing ever. But uh, you know, this is all about my boy. I wanted, to, I wanted to be there for him. So anyway, I'm listening to these cats, you know, snicker and talk, and you could tell that I'm, I'm very much a part of their conversation. And it was all I could do not to go sling blade with that big headed driver on the three of their noggins but I said you know man God help me to never be that way when it comes to these little plastic boats because I, I mean I would never call myself an expert on anything but I know a little bit about plastic boats and I know a little bit about chasing the critters and when folks are around me if I see that they need help man I'm going to do my best to help if they ask me a question I'm gonna do my best to answer that question. Now, guys, you know I, I represent Jackson Kayak. That's that's that was my first pro staff, and and the day that I, I get out of Jackson Kayak for as a pro staffer will be the day that I'm out of everything, uh, uh, and probably one foot in the ground. But you know, to me, I got into that company. I love the product and I love the people. That was what really really grew to me. But don't get me wrong, there are a lot of good kayak manufacturers on the market. And when folks have questions about it, you know, man, yeah, I'm going to help you. I want you in a boat. I want you in a boat that makes you happy. You know, my purpose, would I love it to be a Jackson Kayak? You better believe it because I love Jackson Kayak. But, man, there are so many good manufacturers out there that I should be able to help you figure out what you want in your price range, you know, whatever it takes. And to me, that's what pro staffing is about. It's about being a person that's there to help. Um, if you don't have a boat, and I've got one that, that man, that, you know, to demo. You hear people say, demo, demo, demo. Well, if I can get you on the water in my boat to see, yeah, hey, this is for me, or this ain't for me, I need to find something else. That's my job, you know. And, and I don't care what people call me, whether you call me a pro staffer, content generator, 
I hope people call me a helper because that's kind of what I'm called to do, you know. And 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 it's more, it's more than just dealing with the company. I mean, you know, for, for even biblically, I'm called to help, you know. And that's what I do is I, I try to to open eyes, open ears, open hearts to the possibilities that comes from, you know, these plastic boats or the wonderful paddles that I use or, you know, my comfortable PFD. Because, I mean, I went through all that. I, I made mistakes. I jumped in a, a boat and almost froze to death because it wasn't rated for my weighting. You know, I grabbed a, a paddle that, that, you know, was the cheapest thing I could get. It weighed five times what a paddle should, should do, had very little, you know, pull to it when you actually tried to paddle anywhere. And I almost gave up. I mean, I literally almost quit all this and went back to my canoes, you know, which is what I had done for years and years and years. So I grew and learned and, and built on my knowledge and then, you know, pulled in knowledge from other people that I was learning from. And to me, that's what being a pro staffer is all about. It's not about blasting another brand. It's not about pushing your brand like it's the only thing on the market, you know, that there's no other way but this. You know, it's, it's making sure that folks are happy doing what they do and they're not wasting their money. I wasted a lot of money. You know, I had crummy PFDs, I had crummy paddles, I had a boat that, whoo, don't even go there. You know, but I mean, learning and moving and growing is all part of this sport. And, and we only have so much time on this earth. You better do it enjoyably and, and move them forward. And I promise you, I wasted a lot of time on the water trying to learn stuff on my own when it would have been nice to have somebody that said, hey man, you know, this is what you need to know. This is what you need to do. Come on, let's do it together if you need to. So to me, the pro staffing part of it is all about being really a, a servant, you know, and, and, a, and a, a, a leader trying to help out other people to do what I love to do. So that's my thoughts on pro staffing. That's why I try to do what I do. You know, I hope if, if you've had a need that I've been able to be a, a little bit helpful. I mean, that's, Mama said, if you can't be handsome, at least be handy, you know, and that's what I'm trying to do. So it's been an enjoyable ride. And if y'all ever have any need or ever, ever have a want to learn or anything like that, man, shoot me a message. I'll do my best to help you. If I can't figure out the answer, I'll find somebody that's got it. So uh, that's what my thoughts on pro staffing and the day I almost killed the golfers. But uh, uh, I hope this helps out a little bit. Y'all take care.